want to welcome you all to our turtle release. I, I love, love turtles! turtles. <laughs> And I'm very delighted to see this many people turning out, and it's very encouraging. It's amazing to see so many people supporting the rescue of sea turtles. It's great. The fact that they can keep them healthy and be able to get them back to nature, it's great. This particular turtle is a loggerhead that is coming, and the turtle was brought to Gulf World. Their vets have rehabbed the turtle, given it antibiotics. They're going to be releasing this turtle very shortly. This turtle did strand in an area that was you know, accessible and it was one that we wanted to demonstrate our cooperation with Golf Specimen Lab. We really want to show how well all the different sea turtle stranding networks worked with each other, especially one that's stranded east of us. So. What we're seeing now is State Park's vehicle is arriving and bringing Julia, our big loggerhead. She weighs about 130 pounds, and this is her moment of to go back to the sea in a better condition than when she left it. Correct. We're going to walk her down to the water, and we're going to take the stretcher off, and hopefully she'll do the rest. Say bye, Julia. Bye. I love this job. I do it because because these animals are protected, they are sentinels for their environment, and it's really important to help make sure that the environment's healthy. And if they're healthy, it's a good sign that the environment is too. Oh, I'm delighted, of course, to see this many people come down just to say hello and goodbye to a turtle. It's great to see a big sea turtle like that going back to her home. The first time I've ever seen anything like that. It was pretty neat watching a big old loggerhead. It was very inspirational to watch and it's something that needs to continue to happen for the younger generation. <laughs>